Hey you guys, Jared Bingle here with Lawn Rescue. I want to thank you for coming back for another video. In this video, I've got two different products to show you guys. But first off, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when I put out new content. The first product I'm going to show you guys today is the TrailerX.com 5-gallon gas can rack. And the other is going to be your IOB's 4-gallon 18-volt electric backpack sprayer. So stick around. Here it is you guys, TrailerRacks.com's five gallon gas can rack. I love all the rack products that I've got so far. I have come across a few issues, but the biggest problem is that I have three different keys for all these different racks and I'd like to be able to only have one key. Whether that's, you know, ordering a bunch of locks that are all keyed the same and installing them myself or having an option to have the racks come keyed the same from the manufacturer. One feature to this five gallon gas can rack that the two and a half gallon does not have is it's got two locking positions. On the two and a half gallon rack, it's only got a locking position on the right side just because of the size of it. Unlocking this unit is pretty simple. Just put the key in, turn and pull, push down on the lever and open up the lid and that'll give you access to your gas cans. If you want to lock it, just do all this in a reverse fashion. Close the lid, push down the lever, and then push the lock in, and it's secured. So the mounting hardware that comes in this unit is going to be pretty close to, if not the same, as the 2.5 gallon rack, which means that the bolts are going to be too short for my trailer to be able to go through the full rail. So I'm going to have to go back to Lowe's and get more, more carriage bolts. Fast forwarding a little bit, we've got our nuts, bolts, and washers. We'll go ahead and drill our holes and get it attached to the trailer. And there you have it, Green Touch Industries 5 gallon gas can rack. And forgive me guys, it is absolutely miserable outside. I know most of you are going through the same thing. It's 95 degrees outside with a real feel of like 101, 102. It's ridiculous. And our grass is feeling it as well, unfortunately. Just make sure that you're watering like you're supposed to every two days or so. And hopefully we'll get through this soon. Let's get on to the next part of the video. The Ryobi Backpack Sprayer. I've got one so far and I absolutely love it. This thing will spray up to 11 tanks worth of product on a single battery charge. Since I've got a second one, I've got two batteries. In, this pa in the packaging, it should come with one battery and one charger, as well as everything you need to put this thing together. And would you know, I was taken out of the box and completely forgot to push the record button. Real quick, you've got your charger, you've got your battery, you've got the spray wand, you've got the unit itself, and then you've got the instructions as well as some nozzle tips. So here I've got the fan tip nozzle that I'm going to be using on this unit. This unit's going to be for stuff like bifenthrin and other chemicals like that. And then the one that I initially had is going to be for glyphosate only. Even the GoPro says it was too hot out here. When I was recording putting it all together, the camera said, nope, it's too hot, I'm out. Shut off. Either way though, here's the new unit. Here's the old one. I've got the fan tip nozzle on this one right here. And I've got the straight combination nozzle on this one. As you can tell, you can either put the spray wand on the side or up on the top like this one is. On the handle of these units, there's a safety that you can turn on and off. Just a slight downside, I have noticed that this unit is starting to get a little bit of a leak in the handle. So it, it does start to leak on the hands when you're doing treatments. That's why it's always good to wear gloves. Hopefully this one's not going to do the same thing, but I'm sure eventually the gaskets will wear out and we'll have to do replace those as well. Real quick, I'm going to go over the operation of this unit. It's getting hot outside, so I'm fixing to call it a day. There's a door on the front of this unit. It flips up just like this one right here. Your battery goes in this section right here. Right here on the left side when you're wearing it, there's a knob that you can turn on. You can turn it on halfway or all the way, and that's going to control how much power goes to the pump. 
and ultimately how much product is going to come out of your hose at one time. When you unscrew the top off, you have a strainer that goes inside the unit, and this is what the inside looks like. That's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.